name is Confident. Welcome to our revision session. This is for grade 12. Also suitable for those who are doing their grade 11. And um, if you're doing the technical side, it's also good for you guys who are doing your technical grades or your N3 and N4. Now, this is a question that I took from one of the previous papers. It um, The purpose here that I'm trying to keep on emphasizing with you on trick is how do you use your cast diagram to simplify such questions because the more you are familiar or you familiarize yourself with your reduction rules which is based on your cast diagram the easier this section will be and um, you don't want to lose marks especially with trick because it is possible to get all the marks in trigonometry because most of the things is based on your understanding the foundation and I always emphasize the foundation based on the cast diagram uh, for your trick. Now let us look at this question. It says you need to simplify completely. It's five marks and this is the expression that you're given and how do you go about answering that? Now if I can as I'm saying, I'm going to be answering this with the cast diagram. So if I can draw the cast diagram here to say, so this will be just a quick, because in an exam, you don't have all the time to, 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 to be sketching. You need to just be able to quickly sketch the cast diagram and, and get done with it. So what you have here is your zero degrees. This is your 90 degrees. This is your 180 degrees. This is your 270 degrees and it's 360 degrees. Remember you're moving anti-clockwise. So this is the direction that you are moving as you can see that. So it's a complete revolution. Now, Remember, we call it a cast diagram. Where is it coming from? It's coming from this one. It says all students take chemistry. As you can see, there is the cast. C-A-S-T. That's why they call it the cast diagram. So all students take chemistry. And what you have all means sine, cos, and tan is positive in the first quadrant. So this becomes your quadrant one. In the second quadrant, only sin is positive. In the third quadrant, only 10 is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive. And the reduction rules, in the first quadrant, what you have is 90 minus theta because we have not passed 90 degrees. But in the second quadrant, it's after 90 degrees. Hence, it is um, 90 plus theta. So it's 90 degrees plus theta. But remember, we have not passed 180 degrees. So it's going to be also 180 degrees minus theta because we have not passed it. Then after we pass 180 degrees, then this side is 180 degrees plus theta. And then we have not passed 360 degrees. So it will be in this case, 360 degrees minus theta in the fourth quadrant. So that's what you're having. For now, avoid using 270 as a reduction rule. Now, having been given that, how do you work about uh, what you're given? First part is, look at this part which says sin 90 degrees uh, plus theta. Now, this sin 90 degrees plus theta it is um, based on you knowing the core functions because you can see sin 90 plus theta is in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant you must know sine is positive that is the first part and if sine is positive the next question then that you need to ask yourself is what is the core function of sine the core function of sine is cos since sine is positive, you will also have cos theta there being positive. As I said, I've done quite a number of lessons on this section. Go previously, and this will be more like a recap of what I'm actually, I actually went through in the previous sections. 
So this sine 90 plus theta becomes cos theta. But the important thing is sine is positive. So the, 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 the sine that you are focusing on is the sine of sin. So sin is positive, as you can see, s is positive in that quadrant. Hence, even cos, since it's a cos function, would be positive. The next one is, so we're done there. We're now looking at that, which is cos 180 degrees plus theta. Now, this one here becomes in, is in the third quadrant. And you can see cos is negative because only 10 is positive in the third quadrant. So it becomes negative cos theta. Right. And then the next one is that one, which is negative angles, which is same negative theta. Now, one, what you need to know about negative angles is that negative sign means you are now in quadrant number four. So in quadrant number four, only cos is positive. So you will have negative sign theta because sine and 10 are negative in the fourth quadrant. So whenever you see the negative sign, know that you have landed in the third quadrant. And in that particular third quadrant, what is only positive would be cos. And then uh, the next one is sine 180 degrees. Now on this one, you don't need to stress yourself. You just have to use the calculator and just punch sine 180 and see the answer that you're getting. Just like that, they, will know, they won't penalize you. You're getting a zero. So that would be a zero. Now what about 10, 135? Now don't use a calculator in this case. You need to use your reduction rules. You ask yourself, what is, where do I find 135? And 135 is in quadrant number two. That's where you find 135 because it is before um, 180. So the reduction rule there that you're going to use is this reduction rule of 180 minus theta. So you have 10, 180 degrees minus. So you need an angle that when you separate it, you get 135. And you just separate 180 minus 135, it will give you that angle which is 45 degrees. So you have 45 degrees. Now, the next thing is asking yourself, what is tan in the second quadrant? Tan is negative, so it's negative tan 45. Then you can use the calculator now to find what is tan 45 in that case. So when you find uh, 1045, it will be uh, 1045 is equal to 1. You can even cross check tan 135 just to make sure you did the right thing. You will see that it is negative 1. Hence the answer is minus 1. So when you have done that, you can then simplify uh, this expression using what we've given. So the first one is um, in this case. If I can actually my space on allow, let me do it down here. Sin 90 plus theta. So you are not going to have now uh, sin 90 plus theta. You are going to have sin where there is 90 plus theta. Uh, remember, you said, I mean, we said it's cos. So you have now cos theta. It's better to always put it in brackets. Plus cos 180 plus theta is that part, which is... Uh, minus cos theta and then minus sin theta is negative sin theta right and then this is divided by sin 180 which is all over 0 minus bracket minus 1 so that's what you are having there so when you simplify it you are going to have cos Theta. Now the negative and negative, so it's negative cos negative sign. The negative and the negative will give you a positive cos theta sine theta all over. Now negative negative one is a positive one there. So that's what you're having, which is equal to you can even factorize cos theta outside, which is one plus sine theta. If you factorize, remember. Look at this, cos theta is common there. You can factorize it so that you can have one plus uh, sine theta. So this is basically 
what this simplification could have uh, led to and they gave five marks um i think it was a fair question and just trying to check if this can go further um in this case and i think um this is actually where it can simplify because they didn't say proof they just say simplify so this is what you can or how you can use the cast diagram to for you to simplify that as i said guys check our previous lessons and if you have not subscribed to our channel also subscribe to our channel and also ensure that the notification bell is on so that whenever we post new videos you'll be able to be notified by youtube whenever there are new videos um, we've come to the end of our lesson thank you